Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr., and this is Real True Street Crime. Let me come at it with you like this. These are rules to the murder game from the fat man in his day, the late 60s and 70s. First of all, there were no shooting up houses drive-bys. You never heard of drive-bys in the 60s and 70s because they didn't do drive-by. That became a later thing that gangs did in the 80s, drive-bys. In my father's day, there was no drive-by. It was precise hits, and that's what Demetrius followed. They didn't shoot houses up. The house didn't do anything to them. So they didn't, they, it was a rule. They didn't shoot houses up. They're going to get the person they want. This is why you see so many innocent people being hurt when they're trying to get somebody else. They shoot up everybody else but the person that they intended to shoot. Now, all these little kids that got shot, all these innocent bystanders that got shot by a bunch of cowards, most likely. Because a real motherfucker is going to make it personal and they're going to get very close to you and put them in your ass. Or... They're going to send your best friend, somebody who can get close to you. It ain't going to be no bunch of kids being shot up. Because there's only going to be one person there when it's that time. You and the motherfucker that's meant to kill you. So all of this thing you see going on now in Hollywood, fantasize, that's not how it was in my father's day. Motherfuckers used to come off the roof on your ass. Texas Slim. From that era when Texas Slim them was getting down. Texas Slim them wasn't doing no drive-by. Texas Slim them would be waiting in your house to kill you. AC Ducey come out the bushes on your ass. These were precise hits and you didn't hear about little innocent by the standards getting killed. When a motherfucker got killed, four five, all four five of them was meant to be killed was in the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong motherfucker. But it wasn't no drive-by, just drive-by, shoot the house up recklessly, all this old dumb shit. And the house ain't did nothing to you. It's the person. So you never hear stories of me tell out of all the hits and shit you hear. Motherfuckers never went and shot houses up. Like the best friends, they gonna get up on you hoping you don't know them and slide up on your ass and do you. They wasn't shooting houses up. Demetrius didn't get them motherfuckers, both of them, 10 for him, 10 for you, 20,000 a hit to go shoot the goddamn house up. I want this motherfucking particular person shot. I don't want a bullet shot in the house. I want you to down this motherfucker. Fuck that house. It ain't did nothing to me. So we did not shoot houses up. We did not do drive-bys. Don't you see that? Even right down to the way Demetrius was killed. It wasn't no goddamn drive-by. Niggas caught him in the checkout line at the Broadway. Boom, boom. He was the only person shot with all the people in the store. Because a motherfucker came to do a hit and did it. That is the sad reality of it. If you got some motherfucking heart and you a hit man, like Babyface Chester Campbell is a perfect example. Chester Campbell was a hell of a hit man because he was a baby face. He slide up on you. He the last person you think finna kill your ass. So a real hit man is eminimity. That you don't see him coming. You don't know him. He just got the contract and he coming to get your ass. He ain't gonna kill up no gang of innocent bystanders. No gang of kids. This was rules by the fat man. If you want a motherfucker, get him in the car. You, him, and him, and kill him. No, none of this. He's standing over here with 10 other people. You're going to ride by there and shoot everybody up. That didn't go down in the 70s. We have rules to murder game. And that's a lot of blood. And that'll fuck any game up. So the people in the murder game, when the fat man was hitting was people who had it coming and they was in the dope game and they had fucked up one way or another. It was never innocent bystanders being hit, caught up in the middle of a drug dispute. 
Them kids shouldn't be caught up in the middle of a gang dispute and get killed. That's between the two gangs. What the kids got to do with it? If anything, you want them to survive, to live, to go on, to carry out, or perhaps put an end to that bullshit. You know, so endless killing for no reason. I mean, I just ain't into that. If you're in the game and this nigga in the game, y'all got a beef, and I'm going to say something to you. A lot of Demetrius's beef started at after-hour joints like Stokes's. Most of your beef in the 70s and 60s started at after-hour joints. Most of them. So a hell of a lot of them, that's why I keep saying to you, when you hear of hits in the 60s and 70s, coming right on the, right around the 80s when all this reckless shit started just shooting up everybody. But prior to that, if you look at the history of it, you didn't have hits can carried out that way. You know, they were very precise hits. And like I say, Rodney Rice, when you sent him to take care of business, didn't no innocent bystanders get killed. The motherfucker you named and gave him 20000 to hit is the motherfucker he's going to hit. Ain't no innocent bystanders, no kids, none of that going to be hit. The motherfucker you want is gone. Ain't no house. Rodney Rice ain't never shot a house up. And let me say all of this to y'all about the murder game. And I'm going to keep them coming since y'all want to know a little about the murder game, the rules, the do's and do not, because it's the most expensive game you will enter. Blood costs a lot of money. And this is Eddie Jackson with Real True Street Crimes. Always saying to you, Eddie Jackson Jr., take a look at my ice of tea. It's a wonderful cold shake. Put it in a bottle of cold water, shake it up. With a little exercise, it helps suppress your appetite and you'll lose plenty of weight. And as I always say to y'all, my before and after pictures are on my Facebook. You can see what I look like before and after I start running and using ice of tea daily. And if you want to give me a play by chance, go to my link. Go to shop, go to categories, go to health and wellness is where you'll find my alleviate compound cream to put on your aching knees, your elbows, your arms, your shoulders, whatever may be aching. And on health and wellness, these are both CBD products. It's my Harmony Drop. Drop two under your tongue, let it sit for 60 seconds, and swallow. It's a wonderful product. I use both of them. They're both CBD products. And our challenge here is lose five pounds in five days. It's a total life change, and life is good. Subscribe, share this, like, link, and pass it on. Have a great day to all y'all. Subscribe to this, share this, and like this.